Hey everybody, this is Justin Rona from agriscaping.com. So it's Workout Wednesday, but this is a special Workout Wednesday because it's also National Weed Your Garden Wednesday. And so National Weed Your Garden Day, we're out here weeding our garden. We'll show you a couple of the tools that we like to use. Now if you're down on your hands and knees, this is the one that most everybody likes. And this particular tool, it's got a little fork at the top. And it's really a one-use tool. This thing is made for weeding. That's about it. Chloe, can you hand me one of those garden knives? So these are some other ones. These are a multi-use tool. These are the ones that we probably use most often around here for our weeding. You can see it's got a little V point at the top and that helps us get to right to the base of the plant and be able to pop it up. But this is also a good planting tool. It's also a nice cutting tool. And for whatever reason, they made these awesome for a left-handed person because it's got the serrations right there on the side as well as you can cut line off of the base and the bottom can be used as a hammer. It's actually got a nice metal interior and so you could use it as a hammer to drive in stakes or whatever you need to do to knock something in. So these are two of our favorite tools. This is another one. It's a Japanese garden knife. Usually come with a nice little sheath like that. This one does not have a V top and so these work a little bit different. It's a little harder to get some of those big weeds out. This one's more set for a right-handed person because it's got the serrations on that right-hand side but also a good good solid knife. This thing's nice and sturdy. We used it to do a lot of harvesting this morning. And so if you're weeding and you got a garden that's an agriscape, weeding time is more of a harvest time. We're harvesting mulch. We're harvesting eggplants, as you can see right here. We're harvesting seeds from our double blooming hollyhocks. We've got a lot of those right here. So you can see a lot of the harvest that we've got in there. So even though it's weed it Wednesday or workout Wednesday, however we want to look at it, hopefully your garden's so productive that all of your weeding efforts become harvesting efforts. And we hope that's the case. Having a good compost pile makes this all possible. Even if you got nasty weeds or even grasses, if you got a high temperature compost pile, this will actually break this stuff down and it won't grow back. So grass, if you got a problem with grass, as most of us do, if you got Bermuda, you've got a problem because it'll work its way into pretty much any place in your garden, especially if you have some of those dinosaur varieties that have stolons the size of my pinky or at least the size of a pencil and they go down 18 inches. So you got to be careful with that kind of stuff. But around here too, if getting down in your hands and knees isn't something you can do right now due to injury or whatever, it's a good idea to have another great tool on hand. Sometimes it, we call it a hula hole. Do you remember what the hula hole looks like, Chloe? This one's the hula hole. Sometimes it's to call it a stirrup hoe. And you'll see that the hula hole, it's got a nice loop on it. And this thing acts as a blade to cut the base of the roots and so you get right underneath your mulch layer and it'll help cut those roots right out of there. So if I've got a garden area like this over here, I've got a lot of good mulch. So I can actually cut underneath any of my, my weeds that might be in there. And I can literally just leave the, plant in, leave the plant in its place. So you can see this is a good weed, a good example of one right here. This particular variety, see if I loosen it up enough, we can get some of it to come out. There we go. So this actually has a nut. So this is a nut sedge or a nut grass. And a lot of people hate this stuff. But uh, this stuff can also, these little nuts, we rinse these off. We can actually grind them down and you can make a wonderful horchata. So this is some of the first horchata was made using this stuff. And these little nuts here though, you gotta get the nuts out. If you wanna get the actual weed out, this nut said you have to get these little nuts out. So it's best to soften the soil around the plant and then pull it up ever so gently so it doesn't break any of those, those uh, connection points to those nuts because if you get the nuts out then you get the problem out. If you don't get the nuts out you're still going to have an issue it's going to keep sprouting back up and you're going to have a major issue in your garden especially in a nice soft bed like these ones are. Now these things tend to grow very well in a low calcium environment and so if you actually add calcium more in calcium into your soil using eggshells breaking those down grinding those up as small as you can make them as best that'll help inhibit these guys from even growing. And if you do have them, digging them out is pretty much the best route. I wouldn't recommend any of those crazy chemicals. Or suffocating them with just a lot of mulch. Again, a lot of calcium helps inhibit their growth. And then if you want to end up breaking these things out and making some nice horchata, well, then you have that as an option. And maybe you too can look at weeds as just a misunderstood plant. And maybe there is a harvestable value for you and your wonderful little weed if you can find a use for it. So most weeds are just plants in the wrong place at the wrong time. And if that's the case for you, today's the day. It's Weed It Wednesday. And don't just stop at weeding. If you want to get a good workout, you can see our other guys over here putting the picks together, working some new soil, adding some more nutrient-rich soil into the, into the mix. It is a hot summer month. June is one of my least favorite times to grow, but we can grow things like pumpkins and melons. We can get those starts in the ground. we got a lot of starts underneath that tree over there. You can see that over there. 
Those guys are getting ready to be planted in some of these beds. We've been prepping them to get some good afternoon sun, which preps them for the beds that we have here. And we're excited to get those things in the ground. So hopefully you've enjoyed another Workout Wednesday with agriscaping.com. And it's also Weed It, National Weed It Wednesday or National Weed Your Garden Day. And here's a, one of our other fun little weeders. She likes to go and pull out sticks and other things as well. That's Sadie. We love that little girl. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed today's little bit. We'll see you next time.